I have no regret for killing the Igbos. General IBM. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The video you are about to watch right now is sensitive one. And this was why they removed history from schools. I would like you to kindly what this video the anger and hatred on this general Ibrahim he is one of those soldiers that massacred innocent different with impunity and he maintained he won't apologize for his action because he was fighting to keep Nigeria one. This was a man who murdered so many people, innocent people, not military like him. In the name of keeping Nigeria one. This was one of the men that go on sent to rape innocent children, young girls of 13 in Biafra land. You know, I've told before that Gowon was a rapist. So God can never forgive Gowon, no matter how many churches he visited frequently. God can never forgive him. Not after the murder of innocent children who did not commit anything, who are not soldiers. I will plead with you to watch the video to the end. It's very important that you watch it to the end and I'll be here watching with you. Now, you have said again that you are not representing the federal government. If the federal government apologizes for, i give you an example, the bombing at Oweri, where 500 people were killed one morning. Would you say they are wrong? I will ask them to also apologize for bombing Kaduna Airport. Good. And when you put your petition. Beg your pardon? When you put your petition. You have no petition in this commission. Neither do we stand for the apology of the federal if government. If the federal government anybody. apologizes for the mass killing at Asaba, Oboiseho, which was testified by the bishop and confirmed by Dr. Oraya, which you did not report here, will you, Arewa, raise an eyebrow? With that hypothesis, if you still raise a, an 8.6 trillion million, claim, not million, I accuse I'm us. talking about apology. Yes. If the federal government decides to apologize, and you still came here to say what you have said, we will still enter a response. Is there anything that you did in the army that you want to apologize now? None that I know of. None that you know of? Yes. As commander of the battalion that massacred people at the time, Oweri, Oboe Sohe in Asaba, now would he, that commander, apologize? My division which I commanded was not a battalion. There were battalions and brigades. If they engage in massacre, yes. in accordance to what you say, I you would have court marshaled them. If you did not, and People are now saying, for what you have done, mother of people in open day at Item, mother of people 9:15 a.m. In, in, in a market, 700 dead, mother of defenseless people who have come to welcome the Nigerian troops, 500 at seven. Would you expect that person now, like Kawan, to say, "I am sorry"? I, as a combatant commander of the troops, as a witness in this box, as a witness in this box, 
testifying for and on behalf of the soldiers who fought the civil war, they fought it in the principle of preserving the Nigerian Federation. I have no apologies for maintaining the Federation of Nigeria. That was my task. If my commander-in-chief, who was in command, gave me command, which I carried out with troops, if he now fails to apologize, and he has apologized, it is in his own wisdom to do so. But insofar as I commanded troops and obeyed orders within the competence of my profession, I have no apologies. In, I have no apologies in your religion, I here together as citizens of Nigeria. In your religion, you have a word called talion, equivalent of revenge. Is that correct? Maybe correct, yes. Is that correct? That's correct. Because of that religion, you did not forgive the coup plotters of January. You revenged because of your religion in July. It Is that was correct? never a religious context. No, 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 no. I no, was no, no, never no, no. engaged I am not in any brother. religious context. Sorry, I was brother. not in a jihad. I was not. My brother. I was a soldier carrying out others. No, what I'm saying is, two of you can go on standing. Yes. What I'm saying Your is, friend that has, because I will put it in another way. Please let my time not run out. <laughs> Witness. I don't know. Yes. Is it correct to say that the July coup was to revenge January coup? It was an outbreak of indiscipline, motivated and inspired by the breakdown of law and order which was motivated or Is promoted. it a revenge? Revenge is a matter of interpretation. What are they revenging? If there had not been the January coup, would there have been a July coup? They wouldn't. Thank you. Thank you. Now look at finally at your appendices. Show him what is at the back of this paper. Figures. The appendices you have shown as to our claim for disempowerment. Yes. All those documents. Yes. Divide Nigeria. All oh, these are exhibits. Yes, exhibits. Already turned out. Yes, my lord. Okay. All right. They are in uh, appendix uh, exhibit 63. All the attachments. What? Arewa tried to do was to divide Nigeria into north and south. Is that correct? Arewa was not dividing any Nigeria. That is the way you were comparing our